Hey everybody, a new week and a new weekly reading vlog. As always, I'm going to take you along with me during this week and tell you what I do and what I read, of course. So for what I'm actually currently reading, uh, first of all, that is Blue Lily, Lily Blue by Maggie Stiefvater, the third book in the Raven Cycle series. And this series is all about a group of boys from this private school and they are called the Raven Boys. And there's also a girl named Blue uh, who is destined to kill her true love when she kisses him. And it's like this whole thing. And um, yeah, I finished... I finished i started this series more than a year ago like in 2008 and i'm finally continuing with the third book because it has been so long like i definitely needed a recap before i could start this one but i'm now listening to the audiobook and i've actually almost finished it i'm now page 306 or like something along this so i really hope to be finishing it today and then it's like so amazing because i finally finished another book in the series like it has been so long it's just it's not even funny anymore and so far i'm definitely enjoying it it's a very um yeah it's sort of very whimsical and it's kind of magical realism ish um, it's hard to explain because I feel like this book is sort of like unique in its kind or like this book series. And I'm definitely enjoying it again, but I don't think it's like one of my all-time favorite book series as with some other people. Like some people really love the Raven Cycle series and so far I'm really enjoying it as well, but I'm not desperately in love with it. Or like it's not like one of my new all-time favorite series, at least based on what i've read so far but i do really enjoy uh, especially like the themes as friendship and such because friendship is very important in this book and relationships and it's all very well done so that's something that i really love about it uh, and i also really like the writing style because it's so uh, again whimsical and magical and also some things sometimes it's so funny and like deadpan and everything and yeah that is what i love about it i will say though that i think that blue lily lily blue is now so far my second favorite book in the series and then on number one i have the raven boys and then on number two blue lily lily blue and then on number three the dream thief so that's my ranking so far uh, in case you're wondering but yeah as i mentioned before i don't have much left of it so i'm going to finish it hopefully today and otherwise tomorrow at least uh, it won't be too long and then for my other book that i'm reading physically is the girl in the tower by Catherine arden this is the second book in the uh i don't know what is it called the bear and a nightingale series i don't know if this has like a series title it probably does but i don't know it <laughs> i finished the bear and a nightingale last week and this um is the sequel to it as i mentioned before really enjoyed the bear and a nightingale it's so beautiful it's like this again sort of fantasy ish well it is fantasy because there's magic involved um, but it takes place in medieval russia and it's sort of historical but also fantastical and mystical and magical and um yeah basically all the things that i love and the main character is a girl named vasha who is um yeah a bit different and uh, very much in touch with sort of like the um, more magical aspects of the story uh, apart from that i cannot really say what it's about but um yeah i think it's beautiful i was sort of scared with this series that it would be too slow to really enjoy but i actually don't think it's that slow at all like sometimes it's a bit slow but the story is very addictive and the writing style is so addictive so for me um yeah i'm definitely uh getting through it a lot more quicker than i had expected so that's a good thing because i don't like books that are too slow i do like slow books um, but not slow as in that they give you a reading slump or something and for me that was definitely not the case with this uh, series so far and then for the girl in the tower i've read 81 pages so far and i've started this last night and i feel like that's a pretty good page number for just one night of reading and again uh, i hope to finish it this week at first i thought like this book is shorter than the beer and the nightingale but the thing is that the font like the writing is so much smaller in this one so actually it's not uh, a smaller book at all but um yeah it doesn't really matter it's just yeah a book that i'm enjoying very much so far and i've heard people say that like the second book you know this one is even better and then the third one is even more better or like the best or whatever <laughs> so i want to read the third one as well i want to finish this series now relatively soon because i have too many series that i start and then i just leave and forget about it and i'm not going to do it with this one because i have the entire series and i'm going to continue with it and hopefully finish it soon and i'm really loving it it's like definitely an experience a very beautiful and magical experience so yeah my reading mood is still going strong still uh definitely very much enjoying everything that i'm reading and then um yeah for something completely different very random but people say that they like it when i talk about makeup stuff and i'm just very happy with how my makeup turned out today so like this very warm reddish oranges oranges orangey look 
and I hope you can see it. And oh, let me grab what I used. Um, it's the Natasha Denona uh, Metropolis palette. So yeah, as you can see, I uh, like use this one and some of the orangey colors. Very pretty. Um, this palette is expensive, but for me, whew, it's like one of my new all-time favorites. It's so pretty. And also, um, again, I don't know if you care, but normally I always wear winged eyeliner. Like if I wear makeup, I always wear winged eyeliner. And I feel like my eyes look weird if I don't wear winged eyeliner. But today for the very first time, in a very long time. I'm not wearing winged eyeliner, just a very thin uh, normal eyeliner. And I'm actually really liking it. I like that you can see like the eyeshadow colors better. So yeah, maybe that's going to be a new makeup chapter in my life, trying out something different uh, with like my look. I will still wear winged eyeliner, don't worry. That's still one of my favorite things to do with makeup. But um, yeah, I'm just really liking the look of it today. And yeah. I just, I don't know. I really don't know if you care, but um, I love to talk about it. And I just really love makeup. It's one of my favorite hobbies aside from reading. Nothing makes me happier in the morning than just put on an audiobook and then uh, take my time to do my makeup uh, whenever I can. And yeah, I just really love it. It's so relaxing and I love to play with the colors and try different things. And yeah, that's uh, me gushing about makeup. I hope you liked it. Then for the rest of this week, I've actually, um, I'm going to Amsterdam this Thursday. With my sister so um yeah we do that every once in a while we go to amsterdam the two of us and then we go shopping and eat some food and always i have to go to waterstones amsterdam because um yeah i just really like going there i'm going to try to film something i don't know how much i'm going to film because every time i sort of think okay i'm going to film everything that i do today i only film like one or two bits um, but i'm going to try to make an effort at least at the bookstore uh, hopefully my sister will help me a little bit <laughs> she doesn't like to be on camera herself like she doesn't really want to be on youtube at least not with like talking and such uh, a shot here or there she doesn't really mind but she has helped me once with filming a bookstore vlog in london and then she had a lot of fun <laughs> she found herself really funny so um yeah maybe she can help me again and then yeah of course some book shopping which always makes me happy and then i also still owe my sister a birthday present because that's why we're going like she didn't really knew what she wanted for her birthday which was like two weeks ago or three weeks ago when you're watching this and i was like okay then we go shopping and you can pick something out so she i still owe her that and yeah i'm very much looking forward to it um it's always nice to have a sort of like sister day together you know just have fun and do some shopping and eating definitely we love to eat <laughs> and yeah definitely very much looking forward to that okay i have uh, good reading news because last night i finished blue lily lily blue and yeah i definitely enjoyed it it's a good book um again i don't think i'm as in love with it as some other people are i think it's a very good series just not like a five star series for me and this again uh, was a four star read book so four out of five stars and i did really enjoy the audiobook what i especially liked is that at the end there's this song uh, that is important throughout the book where the line blue lily lily blue comes from and at the end of the audiobook it's being sung by this sort of i don't know choir or like a couple of people and that was really whimsical and magical to listen to and yeah that was a really nice touch that's something that i like about the audiobook and overall yeah um i really do like the writing style of this it's just a very well maybe not unique but a very engaging writing style it's not very fast paced but um also not too slow and it's just I don't know it's definitely sort of written by someone who knows how to write i think you can tell that and uh, yeah now i definitely want to finish this series in february and read the final book of the raven cycle and i'm so happy that i finally read the third book after it has been so long so that is my first book of the week finished so yay very happy with that and then of course i had to go on to another audiobook and i decided to do a reread of uh, after i do by taylor jenkins read this is like uh well i wanted to say one of my favorite taylor jenkins read books but of course um i guess my favorite one is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo then daisy jones in the six and then after i do it's like my favorite of her older books if that makes sense her more contemporary romances and this one is about a woman named lauren and she has been married to her husband ryan for a while but they are not really in love with each other anymore they don't really get along with each other anymore so they decide to take one year apart from their marriage and not have any contact with each other and not speak to each other and discover who they are on their own and if they can maybe save their relationship after that year and this one uh yeah it's a good one it's a quick and easy read but i also think it has a lot more depth 
than some of the other contemporary romances that I read. Like there's definitely a lot about, uh, you know, romance and marriage and also about the choice of not wanting to get married or not to be in a relationship which is something uh, which is something that i like very much to hear about and yeah listening to a reread of the audiobook um yeah it's my second time reading it and i just really felt like rereading something that i already know and just listen to it it's very relaxing i like the audiobook and i cannot wait to enjoy this story again and then for my final reading update i'm still reading the girl in the tower by Catherine arden i'm now at page 125 and like last night i was reading it again and there was like this one scene in the forest and i guess if you have read it you know what i mean but it was like just oh perfect i loved it it's just wow <laughs> and this book is still amazing i cannot really say anything else apart from it um there's not like anything new that i've discovered about it in the 50 pages that i read last night but it's still amazing so i will still be continuing with this one so reading is still going great as has been the case with reading for the past couple of weeks um yeah and i'm still very pleased about it like so many books in january so many good books uh, hopefully i can keep it up Voel me een stalker. Voel me een stalker. Je moet maar even goed knippen.
so i hoped you uh, enjoyed me taking you along with me in waterstones amsterdam for a little bit and something that i did not know when i went there is that they have redecorated it so it looks completely different from when i was there last time uh, so that was a pleasant surprise i don't know when they did that probably already a couple of months ago or something uh, but it looks it looks really nice and i don't know i think i like this design better from what it was before i like sort of like these stairs things and everything um, but yeah it was wonderful of course going shopping book shopping and we had a really great time together with my sister and we had some delicious food and yeah it was just a nice day overall i didn't shop any clothes so yeah i wasn't really successful in that but i did buy three books so at least we have that going um and yeah of course i'm going to show you what i got at waterstones uh, because yeah i apparently needed more books even though i already have so many but yeah I, when you go to waterstones you have to get something at least i do <laughs> the first one is this is going to hurt by adam k and this is a non-fiction book and it is about uh, adam k who is a doctor or who used to be a doctor uh, about his experiences as a doctor and you know what he has been through and stories that he's heard and things that he's seen i believe it's interesting and also funny and i don't know it's all about his experience and this had been on my wish list for a little while and uh, i saw it at the bookstore so i was like that is just perfect to <laughs> grab it with me and that's exactly what i did i really want to read more non-fiction i feel like i saying this so many times in videos recently but i really want to read more non-fiction and this one sounds perfect like something i will enjoy i want to read this one really soon and then i got assassin's apprentice by robin hobb which is fantasy and i don't know much about this story but you know it's fantasy and i love fantasy and i really really like the cover because it looks so um you know historical medieval fantastical uh that's something that i love so uh yeah another one that i want to read i don't know if i'm going to read this soon but hopefully it won't be too long you know another book series to start and then lastly i got a book that i actually know nothing about uh, but that i saw lying around in the bookstore and it's blood and sugar by laura shepherd robinson and this is also a historical also this is a historical fiction novel it takes place in the 18th century it revolves around the abolishment of slavery it is a crime thriller historical fiction novel it's about a captain who goes on this mission to sort of find somebody who has gone missing that's sort of the premise from what i read on the back and this one i got because it's nice to sometimes pick up a book that you don't know anything about and uh, you know something that you found in a bookstore so that's what this book is and i do love historical fiction very much and uh, this one sounds a bit different from what i would normally read when it comes to historical fiction so yeah this one uh, came with me home as well and that was it for what i bought at waterstones amsterdam so yeah three new books so happy with it i really love book shopping and i hope you enjoyed the you know sort of bookstore vlog of this video bit <laughs> but the next stop i definitely owe you a reading update because this has been a while uh, first of all i finished after i do by taylor jenkins read and yeah i don't really have anything new to say about it um, it's really enjoyable, really interesting. Uh, I had read it before, so it's not really a surprise. I really do like the audiobook. It was very relaxing and very calming. And I do love the story. And it was, you know, a four out of five stars. It's just the same as last time. And then because I was in the right mood for it, I decided to reread um, or started a reread of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Because, I don't know, I was feeling the Taylor Jenkins Reid reading bug. And this is one of my all-time favorite books. So it's going to be my third time reading this book. I'm now listening to the audiobook, which is amazing. I've already listened to so much of it today. Like, what is it? Around 135 pages. So that is going quite nicely. And I really love it. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to start a, an audiobook that I hadn't read before, you know. A new audiobook, if that makes sense. Uh, because i wasn't really feeling it so i was like i'm just going to reread one of my favorites because that is what makes me happy so that is exactly what happened and what is happening right now really love this one so much i like this is one of my all-time favorite books i can never get enough of it um and yeah i'm so happy to be reading this one again it's about you know this uh sort of actress sort of actress this actress who had seven husbands who tells her life story in case you don't know very very good and i love it so much <laughs> and then lastly also still reading the bear uh, the bear the girl in the tower and i'm now at page 200 and something 207 so haven't read much of it in the past couple of days 
mostly because i don't know i was just you know busy and away for shopping and everything uh, but i've made some progress and i'm going to finish it this weekend i think so yeah this one is also still amazing nothing new there <laughs> i uh i just really love reading these books and i think i'm going to continue with the third book once i once i finish this one very very soon and yeah i think that is pretty much it for all my reading updates right now and yeah today i filmed some videos but um yeah oh yeah yesterday i went out for lunch with a friend from university that i hadn't seen in a long time so you know we went to this really cute place that we both never had been before and um yeah we had lunch which was really tasty and um, yeah, it was a really nice time. We don't see each other that often, but it's always so nice to catch up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for what I've done this week so far. Okay, then lastly, since I was talking about, you know, makeup earlier this week, I want to show you this eyeshadow makeup look because I love how it turned out. Uh, very exciting. Uh, I used for this a new Natasha Denona palette and it's the Sunrise palette, which is like sort of her line of cheaper eyeshadow palette which is still very expensive but i had a discount code and uh, a gift voucher so for me it wasn't that expensive but ooh, let's not drop this because <laughs> that would be such a waste but let me open this without breaking anything so this is who a mirror but <laughs> this is the palette so as you can see um yeah very beautiful reddish and yellowish colors so i used this one this one and this one Oh, I love how it looks. So yeah, in the uh, sort of spirit of showing you uh, what I use every once in a while, uh, this is it for today. And I loved it so much. I'm so happy that this I managed this for like filming videos because it's always nice when your makeup turns out pretty like the way you want it to be. And then you have a video and then, yeah, you know, even though I'm not going anywhere today, at least people can see it, if that makes sense. Do you ever have that that you you know you're have a good you have a good hair day you have a good makeup day even though you're not really doing anything and then i'm so grateful for youtube because i can sh still show it off and everything i also went to the hairdressers like this week so it's also looking very nice and fresh and yeah um i think that's enough talking for right now okay great news when it comes to reading i finished two books so first of all i finished my audiobook reread of the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I literally have nothing new to say about this. Apart from that I really, really love this book. I still love it, you know. Even on the third time reading it, uh, it's still amazing. And I think I will never get enough of it. It will most definitely not be the last time that I'm reading this. It's just an amazing book. An amazing audio book. Uh, I love it very much. It's so beautiful. And I just love this story so, so much. It's one of my all-time favorite books. Um, yeah, I, I have nothing but good words about this one, but if you know me, then you probably know how much I love this book. It's just amazing. And then I also finished, um, which is even more exciting, uh, I finished The Girl in the Tower by Catherine Arden. And wow, <laughs> this book, wow, it was pretty amazing. Uh, yeah, it was definitely very amazing. And especially all everything that happened towards the end was just... Ooh. Yeah, uh, I, of course, I, I'm not going to spoil anything, so I cannot say anything in specifics. But oh, this book was definitely um, intense and there was just, there was a lot. <laughs> so I finished this one and it was again a 5 out of 5 stars, just as the first book. Um, it's called the Winter Night Trilogy. I've looked it up and I now know what the series is called. And I don't know which book I'm going to read after this because... On the one hand, I want to just continue with The Winter of the Witch, just the next book in the series, and finish it. On the other hand, I'm not completely sure. Maybe something else in between, something from a different genre. That is going to be for my next reading vlog to decide, because at the moment I don't know yet, but... It is beautiful, it is gorgeous, and I love the series with all my heart. And uh, I'm definitely going to finish it in February, you know, the series. I'm not going to wait months or weeks to pick up the next book. I'm just not completely sure if it's going to be my next, next book, if that makes sense. And yeah, also I don't know it for my next audiobook. It's actually really hard because I just have nothing currently in my audiobook library that I'm really excited to read. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to think about that one as well. If you know me, then you know that I'm so, so bad at picking out my next read. Sometimes I can literally debate about it for two days, which is sad because that really sort of kills my reading mood. But um, yeah, that's maybe why I should work more with TBRs. I have a TBR for February, so I'm just going to pick something from that. Um, 
yeah i'm just i'm the worst with picking out my next read because i want to read everything but also i want to be in the exact right reading mood for it and that's almost never well it is the case sometimes but it's very hard to decide what the right reading mood is for which book. Then for one last bookish uh, update, I also got a new book in the mail and it is Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Morena Garcia. And I got this one in the mail on Saturday. And since I've already done sort of like a little book haul in this reading vlog of like my bookstore shopping, I thought this one should just be in here as well. And this is a Mexican mythology inspired book. That's all I know about it. I don't know anything about the exact story apart from that there's probably something that uh, is going to go wrong and I believe the main character is a girl who needs to fix that. That's all I know. I know it's not much but um, I'm just on a bit of a magical whimsical book uh, spree I guess. And the cover of this book is just so so pretty it is like oh it is so gorgeous i love it i love designs like this uh, i almost never buy hardbacks anymore but with this one i figured that it deserved to be a hardback because it's just gorgeous and yeah this one is going on my bookshelves it's so pretty and again i want to read this one soon i want to read all my books soon i'm just horrible horrible with things like this um yeah i think that's pretty much it for like my reading updates and my book haul updates so please let me know what you thought of like this sort of bookstore vlog if you liked it um i've just been editing it and i think it turned out pretty nice i'm not the best vlogger uh, not by any means and i'm pretty bad at talking in public so you know it's mostly a montage but still um yeah my sister helped me a bit so that's nice so thank you to her <laughs> but just let me know uh, if that's something that you like i don't go book shopping every week of course like my wallet couldn't handle it and also i don't have an infinite amount of bookstores uh, sort of close by me but i do like to i don't know show you a bit of you know the netherlands and my surroundings since most of you guys don't live in the netherlands and i feel like people love to see something of different countries and different i don't know um yeah people who live there so i'm going to try to do that more in my reading vlogs um, of course as i said before i don't have anything to show you every week mostly i'm just leading a pretty boring normal life uh, but i'm going to try to do it whenever i can and i did have fun with filming and book shopping and um, yeah, I think it is now pretty much it for this reading vlog. Um, I think I've talked long enough now. If you like this reading vlog, um, maybe go subscribe or give it a thumbs up if you want to, of course. But as always, I would really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, hopefully I will see you then very soon in my next video. Bye!